My name is Harini Bosker. I'm a sophomore at Redmond High School in the Lake Washington School District. Today we will be discussing about snow water equivalent. It is a sunny day out and you want a cup of cold water, so you pour yourself water and add ice to it. You might notice that the ice floats on the water and does not sink. Ice is less dense than liquid water. Density equals mass divided by volume. This is important because if we know how dense a particular layer of snow is, then we can determine how much water might be available to us downstream when it melts. Snow is basically small crystals of ice, but it can have very different densities. For example, fresh new powder snow has a low density. It's fluffy, dry, and light with lots of air pockets between the ice crystals. By contrast, Firm, crusty snow that has settled and refrozen several times has a high density. The concept of snow density is really important to our daily lives because in the summer, we're drinking snow. It's true. Water managers collect data on snow water equivalents at snow tow stations. Snow tow sites are on top of ridgelines along the shoulders of the Cascade Mountains. Snow water equivalent is the amount of water that will be released from the snowpack when it melts. The snow builds up and packs down all through the winter, which means it takes a long time to melt, beginning in the spring and usually all the way through the summer. The snow melts into the mountain streams. To find the snow water equivalent, you first need to determine the depth of the snow in the snowpack. To calculate snow water equivalent, you multiply the depth of the snow by the snow water density. Let's say the snow pack is 8 feet deep, that would be 96 inches, and let's say the snow density is 10%. So we have 96 inches times 0 0.10 equals 9.6 inches. You can see the snow pack up here on the ridge, and then as the snow melts, all the mountain streams fill up the reservoir. This is the Chester Morse Reservoir. It is the primary water source for the people of the greater Seattle region. This is a map of Washington snow tell current snow water equivalent percent of normal. We see that Yakima Valley is yellow zone with an average snow water equivalent of 82%, which is more towards the lower end of the scale. On the other hand, Puget Sound, the light blue zone, has a snow water equivalent of between 113 and 120%. Why is this? Water vapor is evaporating up out of Puget Sound on a warm day. The prevailing winds moving east from Pacific Ocean push this mass of moist air higher and higher against the mountains. The air temperature is much colder at higher elevations, which causes the water molecules to condense, and so it falls as snow. The wind keeps going, no problem, right over the cascade but it has already lost all its moisture. Snow water equivalent. We depend on it. We drink melted snow water, but in the next decade or two, what if our snowpack shrinks because of climate change? And how do we respond?